So I just got this email from one of my viewers and it says, Hi, I'm an EE engineer who also makes math tutoring for students in high school or first years of university. I recently got to solve this following exercise. It says we have this function and we are going to see if x equals 3 is a local min, max or inflection point. I'm able to solve it, but I cannot find a neat and simple way to explain the process to my students. Okay, and let's see if we can do it right here. So right here, let me just go through the whole thing. We have this function, and if you want to find if it has a local min, max, or inflection point, of course, we have to take the first derivative for the min max. So let's do that first. But how do we take the derivative of this? We have to use the power rule. We have to rewrite it. Rewrite this as what? Negative, bring this up and make that into negative two exponent, and do the same thing here. So plus two x to the negative three. Then we can use the power rule. Like always, bring the power to the front, minus 1, bring the power to the front, and minus 1. So for the first one, negative 2 times negative, we have positive, and uh, x to the negative 3. And then negative 3 times 2, that becomes negative 6. And then we have x to the negative 4. Then we are going to write this as 2 over x to the third power minus 6 over x to the fourth power. And we are going to set this equal 0 so that we can see where the critical number is. Now I'm going to combine them and we need the common denominator. Here is x to the fourth power, this is only x to the third power, so let me multiply this by x and x here. Combine them, we are going to get 2x minus 6 over x to the fourth power. So we are just going to check this being equal to 0. In order for this to be 0, we just need the top to be 0. So that means 2x minus 6 has to be 0. Therefore, x is equal to 3. And in fact, this is the only critical number that we will have to consider. We are not going to consider 0, even though 0 will make the first derivative undefined, but 0 is not in the domain of the original function because it has the x squared x on the third power on the bottom. So you don't have to consider that. That's the only one. Now, we have the first derivative being equal to 0 at x equals 3. So what do we know? It could be a local min or a local max. Is it going to be a point of inflection? Most likely not because you will have to get the second derivative in order to decide that. So now, how are we going to decide if this is a local min or local max? Well, maybe sometimes neither. You have to be careful. This is how we are going to do it. This is called the number line test for the first derivative test. So let me just write that down. Derivative test. And in order for mix to happen, I'm just going to draw a number line and we are going to make a mark at 3. And uh, here is the values for f prime. In fact, just a sign, positive or negative. In fact, all we have to do now is pick a number less than 3 and then bigger than 3, plug it into our first derivative expression and see if it's positive or negative. So let's do that first. Pick a number less than 3, let's say 2. You can pick 1 as well. Don't pick 0 because 0 is not in the domain. You can pick negative 1, but technically that's not preferred because there's like a cut and 0. So don't do anything like that. Just pick 2. It's fine. So this right here, again, we're just picking 2 as a test point. I'm now going to put 2 into our first derivative. Now notice we have this expression, which is equivalent to this expression. None of them is easier. This right here is easier. Remember, this is still f prime of x. It's easier when you plug in the 2 into the combined form. Let me show you. Plugging 2 into there, we get 2 times 2 minus 6 over 2 to the fourth power. And in fact, sometimes you can even do this in your head. Because if you plug in 2, 2 times 2 is 4 minus 6 is negative 2. On the bottom, it's always positive because it's a even power. So we get a negative result. This right here worked out, you still get negative. And the reason that 
that just, just worked out. Anyways, all we care now right here is just this right here is negative, so I'll just put down an EG for negative. And make sure you also check a number bigger than 3. Let's say I want to check 4. Do the same thing, plug into here. You will see it's positive, but I'll still show you all the steps. This is 4 to the 4th power. And just the top, right, 8 minus 6 is positive 2, so POS. So when x is 3, the first derivative is 0. But before that is negative, after that is positive. So what this means is that, I'm going to write that down. The first derivative changes from negative to positive at x equals 3. So we use the first derivative and we have this statement now. So what it means is that the function will go down and then s3 stops a little bit and then come back up. So we'll say that the original f has a local so it's minimal. And you can be slightly more clear at x equals 3. So this right here will be how I will explain it, how I justify the answer for that. Hopefully this really helps. That's it.